Welcome to Rover YouTube channel. Rover is going to teach you how to populate Microsoft Access Report automatically using combo box value. Okay, let's go to the video. Do not forget to subscribe Rover. Today I am going to explain you the way of populating MS Access Report by using combo box. So once you create the combo box, it is like this. You can select values from combo box. So according to the values you select, a report will populate according to the combo box data. For this purpose, I have created sample database. So I have named my database as sample and already I have created a table, Microsoft Access table called test. So this is the table I used to generate my report. So this is my main table. To do this task, firstly I have to create a Microsoft Access form. To create the form, I am going to do click on the create tab, then select blank form. So this is my new access form so i want to rename this form as so i want to save this form as frm test so this is my form name form name is frm test so now i click on the ok button so this is the form so i am going to add combo box to this form to add a combo box i just right click on the form and go to design view then you have to drop combo box from a design tab here i added combo box to my form then once you add after you add the combo box then you have a um, you have a message box like this so there you can link your combo box to an existing table or otherwise you can type combo box values manually so here i am going to type combo values combo box values manually s a g o v t so these are the values i'm going to insert my combo box then click next then you can give a name for your added combo box show report so this is the label name of my combo box then click on the finish button so now I created the combo box then I want to increase the font size of my combo label yeah then I want to increase the values of my com uh, I want to increase the font size of my combo box now I want to uh, name my combo box by right click then go to properties there you can give a name to your combo box here I am going to name this combo box as CBO test right so this is the name I gave uh, my combo box CBO test now it's okay so after giving the name then I want to create a query based on my table so to create a table just click on the create tab and and select the existing table and press add now the table is added so there you can select desired columns as you wish so here basically i am going to add id branch uh, open date account number and the its name it means customer name so these are the columns I go I am going to uh, add my query now once you added this um, columns to a query then basically you have to give a small criteria based on the product so this uh, product is the criteria selection criteria of my combo box Therefore, here I have to 
give following criteria so click on the criteria under the product column then right click and click on the zoom you have otherwise you can do this you can type it here itself open square bracket forms then select the form name select the uh, created form it is frm test then we have to select the combo box name so we have named the combo box as cbo test yeah now we now i gave the criteria under the product column then you can save your query here i am going to save my query as qry test qry test so this is the name of my query then press ok then you can just you can check whether the query is run properly then click on the run button on the design tab yeah my query is running now close the query now you want to and the next thing you should do is to, you have to create report based on the based on the created or the based on the existing query then click on the qry test then go to create and click and click on the report wizard then select the uh, desired column to generate uh, the report so i select So these are the things I selected for my report. Then click. Now then you have to uh, name the name your report. Yeah, I want to name this report as REP test. Just then click on the finish button. Now we created our report. So create uh, report is like this. Now we are going to. Uh, do the coding part then we have to add a small code to our combo box we have to add a small vba code to our combo box to add the combo to add the vba codes we have to click on the uh, combo box from the form design view and right click then build event then select code builder press ok so we have to add your command to your combo box under the after update event select the after update under the cbo test so here you have to uh, type your vba coding so this is the coding the dot cmd sorry rio cmd dot open query then you have to give, give the query name so our query name is qry test then open the inverted uh, close the inverted commas then comma ac uh, view normal ac view normal then ac edit right then the second line do cmd dot open report then the report name out name the report as rep test rep test then then ac view report right so third line do cmd comma cloc close we are going to close the query then give the query name as you query open inverted commas and q r y test yeah then we have to close the form and this is the fourth line do cmd dot again close 
ac form then give the form name so we have named our form as frm test frm test yes, that is it so we added the codings and we completed the coding part now save the vba application then go to access again then you can run your form then click on the form view yes now let's check what will happen so here i am going to select sa govi yes one i once i select the value the report will open and show the desired value so just take another one i am going to set yeah here you can see this is the value i am going to select here this is the value i am going to select okay yeah so once i select the value report automatically populate the desired product on so this is how we can use combo box to populate a report according to the combo box value so if you have any questions please uh, add them to the uh, comment section and so don't forget to subscribe my raw youtube channel for more videos like this thanks for watching